Hello everyone, my name is Yed Damak and today I'm going to present the project Effects of the Russian-Ukrainian War on the editor activity of the Ukrainian, Russian and English Wikipedias. As we all know, Wikipedia is a leading resource of information that plays an important role in the spread of news, events and social movements. And during uh, the time of crisis, this volunteer-based model could be uh, influenced and which lead or could lead to potential disagreement among the users. So mainly this research focuses on studying the behavior of uh, such entities during um, the Russia-Ukrainian war between 2020 till 2022 and we're going to perform an in-depth analysis of the data and in order to gain insights into the dynamics of the platform and the communities. Now I move on to our research questions. The first one would be how does the activity change for editors and viewers during the war? So we start from the uh, pre-processed data set, which is extracted from the, Wiki, uh, the Wikipedia Media Wiki history dumps from the period of January 2020 till June 2022. Then we were going to perform a difference in difference uh, analysis in order to get an overall insight um, of the English, Russian, and uh, Ukrainian Wikipedias. And this methodology is replicated from the um, previous work of uh, Rupert and all in 2021 on the COVID-19 pandemic. The second research question would be, how does the collaboration between editors change? So first we start by pre-processing our data. So we extracted it from the Wikipedia API which contains articles and revisions and comments. And our data would be divided into three main groups, which are the related articles to the main page of the war, the uh, K-top viewed articles, and um, at, uh, like K random articles. Afterwards, we're going to perform a revert analysis in order to investigate potential edit wars. Now we move on to our experimental result for the first research question and specifically for the edit volume. So we, meant, we can see here that there is a significant decrease in activity near the date of the invasion in the Russian and Ukrainian Wikipedias. For the Ukrainian Wikipedia, the level ultimately surpasses the pre-invasion activity. This um, observed recovery in activity for both of the Russian and Ukrainian Wikipedias indicates that there is um, a resilience of the communities contributing uh, to Wikipedia. For the English Wikipedia, we, uh, we didn't see any significant change. Now I move on to our second experiment, which is about the contributed information. Um, we can see here that there is an increase uh, in both of the Ukrainian and Russian Wikipedias in terms of contributed information symbites which is also confirmed by the difference in difference um, analysis. So this addition of large volume of information is due to numerous events and changes occurring during the war. Also, um, when comparing the, contribute inf the contributed information metric to the um, edit volume metric, we can see that the Russian and uh, Ukrainian edits uh, remains cons consistent with 2021 and 2020, but there is uh, a significant increase in terms of contributed information in these languages. Um, the same thing for the English Wikipedia, we didn't see any significant change. Now, uh, regarding the revert rate, we can see that there is a spike in the uh, revert rate for both of the languages and specifically for the Russian Wikipedia, which indicates a disagreement and a lack of consensus in um, the early stages of the war and specifically in the first 15 days. Now our next experiment is the reverse analysis in the context of the related articles. We found here that uh, the Russian Wikipedia exhibited a spike in terms of revert rate and this high volume of revert rate for this language indicates that the political context is really complex and it may um, indicate that there is a high level of disagreement among the editing community leading uh, to polarized editors. 
Now, for our main findings, first, we have found that there is a short-term decrease in the number of edits and a smaller decrease in the aggregated contributed information. Other than that, we found that um, the Wikipedia editor communities are overall resilient in the times of the war. And also, there are some potential indications of a polarized community inside uh, the Russian Wikipedia. And finally, we have investigated um, the number of newcomers also, the readership data, and uh, finally we have explored uh, some toxicity analysis uh, approaches in our project. Thank you everyone and uh, feel free to ask any question.